Hello, this is the first of two Raspberry Pi case construction videos. This is the Pibo um, Raspberry Pi case made in Sheffield, designed and made in Sheffield by Paul Beach. It's an amazing case. Uh, it's made by Pimeroni or Pimeroni, I suppose it's Pimeroni um, in Sheffield. It's a case which is made of nine layers of laser cut acrylic. Absolutely fantastic colours. Look at those vibrant rainbow colours, it's so attractive. Um, I'm going to show the instructions first of all. I can open the back of my card and show you the guide. I don't want to tear the, bo tear the box, that's why I'm lifting with a credit card. Lift it the other side actually. There's a little tab, but because these boxes, these little tabs, these things here tend to tear when you lift them usually on boxes. I'm going to do it with the credit cards. I don't want the packaging to tear. There we go. So inside, we see the instructions. It says, Take care when removing the protective plastic. Note, people, this has protective plastic uh, film on the acrylic sheets. So n n a numerous amount of people have uh, not paid attention to the instructions, have not removed the plastic sheet, and they wonder why their bolts... Uh, and not sorry, the bolts are not long enough. The nylon bolts. So basically, it's telling you here what to do. Contents: nine pibo layers, four nuts, four bolts, and one little spanner. There's a little, a little uh, acrylic spanner. Remove the protective film from all nine layers. It does say that there, so no excuses for messing that up, is there? So here is the stack. Uh, the stacking order of the uh, layers. So what I'm going to do now is one-handedly I'm going to break the seal on this beauty. Notice I didn't say bad boy because that's what Americans say. I'm not American, I'm English. It's a beauty and that's what, how it's going to stay. Right, so pull that off as carefully as I possibly can to make sure the uh, instructions remain intact. Put that aside. So then lift the tab up and push it through and we will see the Pibo in its packaging. Look at that. What a clever design. Look at the packaging. I mean it's just brilliant. I mean I haven't seen something that brilliant for a long time. Um, I'm just going to find something to unwrap this on. Um, what can I use? I'm just going to find a sheet of paper or something. No, it's okay. I'll do it on the top. So, here we see, very clearly, you can see the protective film on, it, film on there. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, it's, it's in the marketing and on the... On the website photos it's a clear top so how could you miss the fact that that is blatantly protective film I mean come on I mean it's got bubbles and all sorts in it so how could you miss that seriously I mean this is nuts <laughs> it's protective film so you just remove it don't you anyway mini rant over inside the packaging you also get here we are get your four nylon nuts and bolts and the mini purple acrylic spanner for the nuts, which is very clever, which you use to thumb tighten the nuts up. So you've got layer, what layer number is that, does it say? Top, obviously. Uh, you've got oh, layer, layer seven. Camera focus, please, thank you. Which is the top layer. That'll be layer six, I suppose. Yeah, layer six, layer five. Sorry about the camera focus; it's a poor Android phone. Layer four. I don't think you'll see that. You may see it if I slant in the light. Very carefully. Yeah, there you go. You see layer four there. Layer three. A lovely bright green. Gosh, that's hard to see, isn't it? 
layer 2, layer 1, and the base layer. And underneath that, there's a picture of the there's a Pomeroni man sitting there smiling away. Whatever he's doing. Bit of a strange logo. Never mind. Um, a lot of people think these bottom holes on the bottom layer are ventilation. Well, they, they may well be, but they're actually, uh, if you look at them carefully, they're actually designed to uh, accommodate Lego bricks. Yep, that's what they're for. They're designed to accommodate Lego bricks. So, without further ado, I'm going to remove all the film off this uh, off these layers, which I'm sure you don't want to see. Very, very tedious, long and boring. And then come back and assemble the device. See, every layer has a white film on the back. Do not miss that. Your bolts will not fit. Well, they may do, but I, I doubt it. So, I shall be back in a minute after I've shown you the reverse logo etched into the surface of the bottom layer. There we go, you see it's back to the front. And obviously that will be on the inside, so when you when the film is removed you'd see the logos from the outside, but they're etched on the inside, which is clever. So there we have it. That is the stacking order. So they go like this. One, two, it's not rocket science really. Three, four, five, six, seven, and your top layer, which is the raspberry. I'll see you soon. So guys, there we have it, my finished pie bow case. You can see very clearly there's the hole, the ventilation hole, which is the logo, the Pi Bow logo, the Raspberry Pi logo, etched into the top of the case, the lid. Underneath you have, oops, what does it say? It says PiBow.com. Also says Pimaroni or Pimaroni or however, however you pronounce it. The etching is actually on the, on the inside of the plastic, so it won't wear off, which is pretty clever. You've got etched on there, you've got the SD card logo and the power plug logo. Now, interestingly, I thought my Kindle lead, from what I'd read on the internet, would not fit, but my Kindle lead does fit, as you can see. It goes just right inside the recess for the power, just with about a fraction of a, fraction of a millimetre to spare, so it does work very well. Um, the holes on the bottom, uh, I may have mentioned before, are for Lego bricks. These little holes here, there's a set of four. Set of eight and a set of four. They're for Lego bricks for mounting on Lego. I've got little. I've got little uh, uh, RGB tricot LED wired up to my GPIO, so that that's going through the slot in the side to my GPIOs. There, rather crudely sort of attached on, but it works. Very pleased. Very very pleased. This is an amazing case. It's really really attractive. It's a uh, shatterproof acrylic as well, which I wasn't aware of. So uh, that's a bonus. Um, I don't want a cracking case, even though it is a cracking case, I don't want one. Um, here we see the indicators at power FDX LNK and 100. I presume the LNK 100 relate in relation to the Ethernet. Um, you've got the USB symbol there above the USB ports. And you've got the Ethernet cable, Ethernet symbol there, when the camera decides to stay in focus. Don't get Android, guys, seriously. Save yourself a headache. Do not get Android. Um, that's layer number seven. So the stacking order is, seven is the pink colour. So it goes seven, six, red, five, orange, four, yellow, Three green, two blue, and one purple. And the bottom and top layers do not have do not have uh, lay numbers. They're not not numbered. They're just uh, raspberry outwards, with the etching outwards. It's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's, it's if you can't do this, I mean seriously, if you can put Lego together, you can do this. 
um, a child could do it seriously and they probably do. So there we go. Here's around the outside. Ethernet, USB. Um, you've got your audio output there. You've got the RCA or phono composite video output. GPIOs coming through the slot. You've got your SD card slot there. And you've got the micro USB recess. And of course the all important HDMI. Not HDMI, it's HDMI. Because I'm in English. So there we go. That is the Pimeroni Pibo case. Fantastic. Twelve ninety nine. Worth every penny. Look at my little uh, Raspberry Pi mod here. All the etchings in the top layer of the acrylic are lighting up. Which I like a lot. Do you know how it's done? With a simple RGB LED. Blue tack to the edge of the top acrylic layer. That's coming off the GPIO port, which you can't see very well. Making it flash like crazy. How about that for a bit of mod? It's better in the dark, I'm sure. But that's a nice little uh, Raspberry Pi mod there. Raspberry Pi mod, there you go. Very pretty.